Now this may not look like a dog park behind me, but Tom McGlone tells me soon it will. So this is the entrance into the park. We're coming back. It's four and a half acres. It's a rough life when you're always on a leash. There really is no place for dogs to go off leash. Tom McGlone is on the board of the Unleashed Dog Park nonprofit. He says it started out as a few neighbors who noticed one problem. There was no place for their dogs to run and play. They worked very diligently trying to work with the city of Lewis to turn around and get all the approvals associated with a, a dog park. And Teresa is a dog owner and says most cities have a dog park, so it's a must for Lewis. It's obviously needed and uh, it's great to have a place to take the dogs where they can do their business. And Betty McNeil says she can't wait to take her dog Dorothy. And I know my dog will love it and I'm so happy that we're going to be having that dog park. Everybody loves their dogs and as a result you know it's a really good opportunity in terms of bringing people together. Tom tells me to make Unleashed Dog Park happen in Lewis they need $150,000 and he said they're about right here at $75,000 right now and they need the funds to keep coming. Reporting in Lewis, I'm Jesse Starkey, WRDE Coast TV News.